Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Friday, October 6th, 2023. And this is a video for Richard in Tennessee. Richard is a long distance customer and it's incumbent on us to uh, portray the actual condition of the truck in as much as that's within our ability without Richard actually being here in person. So we tend to do pretty detailed videos. I really like to hear that from, feedback from people. Whoops. I really like to hear that feedback from people because uh, that they appreciate it. Some people are like, you know, would you get on with it already enough? I want to see the truck uh, drive. Um, how much is it? Stuff like that. But we really are very thorough and maybe a little over thorough i will concede that that's possible but better too much than too little because when i show up in tennessee with this truck assuming we're delivering it um which by the way we charge two dollars and fifty cents per mile one way and that is our new rate because diesel prices are skyrocketing um, now, for those who already bought a truck, or and that may even be Richard, you know, we may have said two dollars per mile one way, and we will honor that. But now is the time where the rate is changing. Now, I've been um, <clears throat> defraying that cost for a long, long time, and um, so um, when I show up with the truck in Tennessee, I want uh, Richard's expectations to at least be met if not exceeded. So that is uh, our aim. And uh, this is a 1993 Subaru Sambar dump. Four wheel drive, five speed with extra low and air conditioning. I'm going to verify that, but it says AC, so it must work. And it, it has 27,565 miles, which is ridiculously low. All right. Now, the only thing that really bothered me was this dent on the front, just the way it is. And uh, yes, it could be fixed, but it's not the kind of thing that we're inclined to do. That's not our proclivity is to, you know, rebuild the, uh, or redo, not rebuild, but redo the front when something like that occurs. Um, now, if, if you had a suction, one of those powerful suction cups, maybe you could pop that out and that out, maybe, or... Um, th these paintless dent removal people, they can pop most of that out. Um, but, or you could just leave it like it is. So that dent is obviously, uh, there. And you also have a small ding there. Now here's the perimeter of the windshield. There's the roof also. This is really a nice truck. And I know that's strange after I just showed you that dent, but it's a nice truck. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, coming down the door. Now, the antenna on the Subaru is right there. You want to make sure that's down because it could catch a branch and break. We have a ding there. And a small dent right there. That's it. The rest of the door looks really good. Now, this is a special tire. This is a Dunlop Winter Max. This is an ice and snow tire with a special polymer designed to grip the ice and the snow better than a traditional tire. There's the inside of the wheel housing. Good looking wheel too. And that white dot right there, guys, that means a lot. That white dot is a factory water-based paint dot. And I think that's pretty significant that it's still there because it usually gets sandblasted off from the highway. So this has a dent right here, there. Um, well, I don't need to show you underneath the bed because I'm going to lift the bed up. This is a dump. There's the tire there, the wheel there, and that white dot again. On Suzuki's, it's a blue dot. Look at that. Oh, I shouldn't be showing you that because I'm going to be lifting the bed. Look at the inside of this bed. That is incredible. 
Was it repainted? Yes, I'm sure it was, but it wasn't repainted to hide damage. It was repainted because the owner was responsible and 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 they took good care of it. All right, here is the tailgate. It's dented. You know, it's dented and bruised. Uh, <laughs> Saitama Subaru. There you go. And um, But it's not terrible. It's not rusted or anything, but it's dented. And this bedside panel also has some bumps and bruises. But look at the condition of the hardware, the hinges. That is the big takeaway in my book. But, you know, you have some scratches along the side here, scratch there, a couple of things from the inside out. Now, coming down the door post, you have a ding there and a ding there, a ding there. And that's it. Again, good looking tire there and there. Now let's open the door and look at the inside. Really nice. Beautiful under there. I haven't seen a tag like that. It's not typical. Definitely factory though. Very nice. That's soundproofing material under there. The seat is torn. So you can see here the seat is torn. Now I'm going to do what I've been dying to do, and that is to lift the bed. Starts right up. Now we're going to lift this. Oh yeah, I remember this thing. Look at that. Man, oh man. That is amazing. Look how pretty this is. That is incredible. The back of the cab is incredible. I mean, it's dinged up from use. You can see the dings, but no, no rust. That is the key, guys. That is the key. And here's your tailgate. It, it was, you know, shut. I did that to, to get it to articulate. But these paws, when you lower the bed, these paws lower and then lower and, 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 and grasp that bar. That's how that works. This is the safety. That goes right there so that nobody can lower the bed on you so obviously very important there we go okay look at that piston is that not a remarkable thing or what golly that is such overkill back down we go very nice Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so now this is, that needs oil right there at those hinges so that it swings freely. There we go. All right, now let's drive this thing. All right, that light means our e-brake is on. Oh, 
right? I did just turn on the air conditioning to see if it works. And I'm going to feel it and see how it feels. Um, Mayberry Mini Trucks is responsible for the law being passed, making mini trucks street legal in North Carolina. Um, Sarah Stevens and Deanna Ballard um, are responsible for the legislation being uh, introduced and we testified before the House and Senate Transportation Subcommittees. It passed and then Governor Cooper signed the bill into law. So uh, many trucks are street legal because of these efforts um, and you'll get a title. There's no extra charge for anything. We don't play games. We don't say, oh, but wait, there's a title fee. You know, if it says the truck is $9,400, that's all you pay. Uh, we don't charge a dock fee or a prep fee or an administrative fee or a let's make more profit fee. None of that. If it says that's the price, that's all you pay. Unless you buy air filters, right? Now, they're $20 a piece, but they're extremely important. So make sure you get it correct your air filters. There's over 60 miles per hour, and it feels phenomenal, guys. Um, so really good feel on the road. Um, really high marks in my book. And now we're going to turn around and go up the hill that we just came down. Now that is a quite a steep hill. It may not really look like it, but it is, especially after you get to that 90 degree turn. Uh, and when I go around that turn, it's very, very steep. And we'll see how the truck behaves. Now, this is a Subaru dump. It's heavier and, oh, the air. The air is cold. The air is cold. It does work. Um, so when I go around that turn, we're going to see how this dump, this Subaru dump does. Now, it's a heavier truck because it's a dump. But I'm going to keep it in fourth gear and see how it does. And I'm going to try to stay on the asphalt while I'm at it. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go. Going around this turn, it is now 32 kilometers per hour in fourth gear, and we're easily increasing in speed. Okay, so now I'm going to go into fifth gear just because I want to see what it does. I doubt it will increase in speed, but let's see. So now we're going 45 miles or kilometers per hour. And is it increasing? I mean, no, but it's holding. All right, it's holding. Now let's go back and forth here. Let's see if, I, I know it's gonna increase because it did before, but you know, you have to say, all right, all right, it's a dump, it weighs more. And you're asking <clears throat> the thing to do, uh, fifth gear and increase in speed it's not going to happen in this truck because it is um a heavier vehicle and you know a lot of people say oh well it's a subaru it's a four-cylinder it's got more power it does not um the mitsubishi has the most horsepower but the subaru is the smoothest running it runs like butter and you have to be careful not to over rev a subaru because it, the engine is way in the back and it's a four-cylinder and runs like butter, you can't hear it for both of those reasons. One, because it runs smoother, and two, because it's in the back. So you have to be careful not to have the uh, tendency to over-rev your engine, or it's bad for the engine. So um, you, you have to be conscientious about that. But it, this was a great truck. It's in really good condition. It's got the dent on the front, uh, but it is a beautiful man. When you look under that bed, it is remarkable. So... Beautiful truck and air conditioned. I get this call all the time. This is the truck that I get calls for. Hey, I want a Subaru dump with air conditioning. My answer is always, they don't exist. Hardly ever, right? Hardly ever. Well, here is one. So, um, but they're very, very, very rare. I mean, so rare. So rare. And uh, so... Um, Richard in Tennessee, if you would like to buy this truck, let us know 
um, you have first right of refusal. And um, so uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at 336-777-9957. Our email address is sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And our website is mayberryminitrucks.com. You might want to get some air filters that you cannot buy locally. We don't charge a lot. They're $20 a piece, but they are of paramount importance. So we can put them on the front seat when we deliver the truck. And then, um, but that's the only thing that's extra um, are, are the air filters. And, you know, I've told you, I think I said we changed the oil. Maybe I didn't. I've done so many trucks this morning. I can't remember which video I said what. Um, we changed the oil with full synthetic 5W30 engine oil. We check the fluids in the front differential, the rear differential, the transmission, the transfer case if present, the radiator fluid, the antifreeze in the radiator, the brake fluid. We make sure the heat works. We make sure that it runs well. And we make sure that the four-wheel drive works. If any of that doesn't work, we address it. And, you know, if the clutch is bad, we replace it. If, um, you know, the starter isn't working properly or the generator isn't charging, or alternator isn't charging properly, we get that dialed in. Uh, if the radio doesn't work, we don't touch it. You know, if the air doesn't work, we don't mess with it. Um, but, you know, little things we don't mess with, but big things, you know, that like are integral to the operation of the vehicle, we do address. And uh, But this is super nice truck. Please subscribe to our channel. I know my videos are so lengthy. Um, I need to be a little more, a little brevity goes a long way. So I have to try to keep it uh, curtailed to, uh, you know, no more than perhaps 12 minutes of video, <clears throat> which I believe I've far exceeded on this one. But it's a special truck. It's a dump and has AC. Can we at least say that? Can that be my excuse? All right, guys. Thank you. Please subscribe to our channel and hit notification. We do appreciate it because it helps with our search analytics. And thank you for watching our video.